So a major update from the spring 2020 release of Salesforce is that they have made changes to the status options available on cases, in essence, hiding the closed status from cases. And this may throw you for a loop. You may be asking yourself, where did my case close status go? And you have the spring 20 release to thank for that. So to make a change and to bring that back, uh, you will go into support settings. Now, I'm in a case with some customized status designations. This is from one of my recent live admin training courses. So I've got some customizations here, such as a path, because I also wanted to show this as an example, because even though the spring 20 release has removed close from the status designation, it does not remove it from any paths you may have had on the page layout on cases. So if you go into support settings and you can find that by just searching in setup and click edit, the checkbox that you need to check to return closed status to the case status field is this checkbox here called show closed statuses in case status field. So if that's checked, click save and then once that save hits the server, you can go back and refresh your case to pull in the latest support setting designations. And so now we will have closed as one of the status options from the status dropdown. Now I wanted to show you what would happen if we were to revert that back to removing the closed designation in the status by unchecking show closed statuses in the case status field and clicking save. What happens whenever, let me go ahead and refresh again and then I'll set the status to closed via the path and I've got a separate video on adding a path to a case page layout so you can check that out I will link to that from here so that so you can find that video of how to add a path but I'm selecting closed as a status saying select closed status and so that is one way that you could and you notice the confetti as well which I previously configured as part of the path also so that is one workaround or one way to provide the ability for case closure. Another option would be to add a quick action. And there's a help article on creating a closed case quick action. Let me show you that. I'll link to that as well. So you can follow the steps in this help article to create a closed case action and add that to the page layout. And that will have a very similar case closure experience. and. I can only guess that with Salesforce removing closed with the Spring 20 release, they're wanting you to use some other mechanism such as a quick action or a path. And so I wanted to highlight that because I'm anticipating and I'm getting this question a lot as far as where did my closed status go? And also just another caveat or note is that one place that you can look to make sure that you've got closed as a status option is by looking in your support processes. And this is a tier one and a tier two support process from one of my training classes. And so if your closed status is missing, you can also check here under support processes to be sure that you do see closed. And even though it's available and showing in the support process, it'll be hidden because of that checkbox on support settings. So check that out. And if you want to return closed, then, and I'm going to revert that back for my own instance here. Just simply click show close statuses in case status field, click save, and you're off to the races.